this is Lynn Mortis with a look at Nick's go and what his next prep might be for the Breeders' Cup coming up on in November. Brad Cox has got Nick's go back to workouts and training again and he breezed the other day and he's ready. He just came off that Whitney where he beat Maxfield and handily. Well talk is Nick's go's next race will be the Lucas Classic, October 2nd at Churchill. May or may not be the race, but it's about the time he'll have one that weekend, I would be sure. I would assume that weekend he'll have him running somewhere, and I'm hearing it's a Lucas Classic. The Lucas Classic is a grade three, mile and eighth on the dirt. It's for three-year-olds and up males. This was seen to be a, a good warm-up for him. Not a lot of pressure. Not a, a lot of hard work. I don't know who Nick Scott is going to be running against yet in that race, but I'm assuming as good as he is, he, a whole lot of people challenging him. And I'm sure Brad Cox is just getting him ready for the Breeders' Cup. And this race here is just a warm-up. No disrespect to the other horses, but he's not looking for a lot of trouble in this race. And Nick Scott could be the... Nick Go could drop in any race and be the favorite. So, but I, I just think this Churchill setup is just perfect, and he'll end up out in California, that's for sure. And Nick Go made easy work of the Whitney. He led all the way around. I think um, Maxfield made a move right near the 316th pole, and he challenged him. I'll use that word, but not a serious challenge. I don't know. It just looked like Nick Go. Had it won easy and just proved to put a stamp on it at the end there and just, I don't know, kind of exploded there. You know, he already had it won. He, he really looked like a very easy win for him. And, you know, he beat some good horses in there. All five of them was good horses in this race. Hit by my standards in the race, Silver State, Swiss Skydiver. They all three chased. They didn't even challenge him. Uh, Maxfield, like I said, he... Halfway challenging for like for a half a second up there on the turn. And Rosario was up and, you know, on a two turn right now in, in horse racing, Nick's goes the horse to beat. Well, good luck, everybody. That's the update on Nick's go.